Now, I already alluded to this, but let's talk about the Mosh P Wampanoag tribe who is fighting for their land. You gotta fight for your right to party. The Trump administration announced the Mosh P Wampanoag tribe in Massachusetts would be, quote, disestablished and its land trust status removed. This would basically turn an Indian reservation into not a reservation anymore. It's r removing the reservation status from a reservation. Clap if you understand what I'm saying. The tribal chairman Cedric Cromwell said, quote, The secretary is under no court order to take our land out of trust. They almost seem to make up laws just for charging fines. He is fully aware that litigation to uphold our status as a tribe, eligible for the benefits of the Indian Reorganization Act, is ongoing. That's right, buddy. You show that turd who's boss. If you don't know about this policy, the Indian Reorganization Act was also known as the, quote, Indian New Deal, because it happened during the FDR administration, reversed the U.S.'s official policy of assimilating Native Americans and protected Native sovereignty of re reservations, and it prote protected the reservation land. This was mostly liked by most Native Americans at the time. Last time I talked to you. And it does set the precedent for or at least that's the modern precedent for what we think of as protecting uh, tribal reservations. At the time, the largest tribe in America, the Navajo, had been hurt by what was called the Navajo Livestock Reduction Program, which basically the federal government seized their livestock. These would-be gods of the New World Order. And jailed people who opposed it. And this was during, like, the Great Depression. So they were opposed to the uh, Indian Reorganization Act. There were so several other people who were as well, simply because they distrusted the U.S. federal government and who could blame them? Da, da, da. Da, da, da. But at the same time, this does provide a lot of rights that uh, protect them to this day. And that makes it really hard to think that the Trump administration would succeed in would succeed in disestablishing them. Liberals uh, have really failed. Now, let's talk about motivation, though, because that's one thing that hasn't come up very much in the reporting on this. What's my motivation? The Mosh P. Wampanoag tribe plans to build a $1 billion casino in Taunton. T Taunton, Massachusetts. I'm shocked, shocked to find that gambling is going on in here. And this casino is only about a half hour from Rhode Island casinos. Ta -da. Um, y y it's in southern Massachusetts, and Rhode Island's tiny. It's like basically right by Rhode Island. If you don't know about New England, I don't know very much either. Just know that most things in Massachusetts are really close to. Rhode Island. People in New England might be like, no, that's not true, but relative to most of the world and country, yes, they are very close to each other. Oh, good for you! Um, yeah, so you can drive to Massachusetts, or drive to Rhode Island in about a half hour from Taunton, Massachusetts. So, this new casino in Taunton, Massachusetts is uh will be competing with several that are in Rhode Island and those casinos in Rhode Island have close ties to Trump many many french fries which means it's very likely that this is just financially motivated Trump is trying to protect his capitalist buds i mean what else could could the motivation be there there's really no other explanation it's all about the money. 